encore douté aussi hein, un tout petit En plus, ces, ces petites fleurs blanches parfumées, mais elles se mettent parfum. Et réaction. Action, réaction. Il faut sécher au soleil jusqu'à ce que ça devienne brun. Ça va donner une odeur dégoulasse. C'est comme les pays fromage avec un peu de vomi là-dessus. Ça s'appelle fermenté. C'est un qui m'a stinké quand je gebruik. Plus d'odeur. On peut. Il y a un praline, mais on a toch un pour vous. On n'a pas les pralines chez nous, mais quand même une praline. Leonida. La manger déjà sans propre nom. Bienvenue. Welcome, bienvenue. Nu als. Ze heeft iets met kindjes, niet opletten. En dan kijk ik zo, zou ik toch... Applaus! 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 Sa fille, elle est mariée avec un riche de Boston, c'est le cadeau de la fille. Les gens ici n'ont pas. Ça fait wel een grote poelkast, maar de meerderheid geen elektriciteit. Een hein? jolie frigo. Die oranje deur moet wel open doen. Een porte orange. Een toilet. En geen papier in het toilet. Pak papier dan toilet. Je steek het in je handtas. De lelijkste foto's. En die mots dan nog in die stijl. So, good afternoon. I'm on a tour. So this is like um, the Yuma tour. So we're going to uh, see more of the nature. Of the, uh, I don't know the name of this area, I forgot. But um, we're inside a, a house of the locals. So um, we, had, um, we had like a tasting. So we were able to taste like these sugar kings, coffee, uh, cacao beans and such and it tasted good and I feel like energetic. So that's good. But I'm very very hot. But uh, yeah, nice, cool. It's stolen, but the steel quality is fresh. Apple. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yummy, 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 very raw, kind of excited. 
Viagra Dominican Viagra. Ya, duro. Ya. Mira qué morenita, qué bonita. So that's Mama Gina. She's our tour guide for today. Toyota smart to go there in. Toyota for the family. Carrot Toyota. It's kind of funny because they refer to their like raw food as like Viagra. So you hear that a lot here. It's so funny. But Maro, Maro is so dross. Ze doen er artificieel kleur toen aan dat je op je frietjes niet doet. Ah. Met couleur artificielle que tu trompes pas, que tu mets pas sur les pommes frites. C'est pour ah. la viande, pour le okay. So you guys just saw like some pink salt. Um, it's the color pink because they put some like, you know, some artificial stuff on it, but they usually use it for their meat. So that's kind of interesting to see. Viagra. So they just sell like Viagra and anti-conception products on the market. Antibiotico! So you can just like buy like Viagra, antibioticas and you know, prevention pills. You can buy it all on the market, so uh, that's kind of rare. We have some chickens over there. It's very like dusty, so I can feel it like in my nose. Oh, look how cute. That was a chicken. And they all love to eat like meat, so they have it here. So, yeah. So, this was it for this area here. It's okay to film as long as you just stay with your tour guide. Ik zeg, het is een keer beter dan Haiti. Mieux kan Haiti. En straks gaan we er ook contact mee hebben. Hè. En uh, tot dan we gaan contact met Sian ik. We gaan de spoorlijn over, jongens. Ook je stek begin aan te bidden. Er is geen herboom, geen belletje, maar ook van zegen. Op pas met zijn uh, le chemin de fer. Fer les yeux pris. Pas de barrière. Op tafel, hè. les boissons fraîches sont mis gratis sur de table. Gratis koffietje zonder suiker, kan je zelf bijklooien. De café sans sucre, gratuit. A vous de mettre le sucre là-dedans. Ah, ça vous Guys, just look how pretty it here is. Look at this. I forgot the name of the place, but this is like an area close to uh, Haiti. So um, this area is mostly populated by people from Haiti, Asian people. So um, yeah, the tour guide was telling us like uh, it's not easy for Haitian people to live here. They have to like struggle a lot. 
and people are keeping them a little bit like dumb, like in the slavery time. It's like very harsh to say it that way, but these are the facts. And yeah, so we were getting an explanation about it. And um, yeah, we're going to meet up with these people or with uh, some of the Haitian people. So um, yeah, it's, it's kind of sad, but um, I brought some uh, candy for the kids because I uh, was told that they would prefer that because they don't have that because these people have like uh, a lot of vegetables, they have like land where they produce their own stuff. So um, they, these kids get excited when you buy like candy for them. So I bought like a whole every bag for them. So uh, hopefully they will enjoy it. But uh, look at this. This is breathtaking. Colors remind me of these like old houses in Aruba and yeah they remind me of it they're very cute and it's so hot so. but uh yeah so I'm like strolling around and yeah Okay guys, small interruption. So we got to the place where we were supposed to like hand out uh, the candy to the children. Normally that happens at the schools, but the schools were closed because of um, uh, the bad weather, the hurricane that was supposed to come that way. So um the tour guide, Mama Gina, such an awesome person, uh, decided to like uh, stop on the road and to hand the candy and all the items she had, um, you know, on the road to them. Um, um, it, it didn't went as, as, as planned and I could not get it over my heart to record what happened. So I thought, let me talk about it because it made me so sad. I could just like drop on the floor. It was just like heartbreaking to watch. So um, yeah, instead of um, the teachers handing them the stuff out or their shaman in their town, um, um, we were allowed to give it to them. They're going with me. Uh, nobody else so she meant me that I was the only one who could go with her outside so um, we went outside and yeah I was standing there and I felt like pinching I felt like people like pulling on me and get stuff and and screaming and crying in front of me and I tried to organize it you know the line and stuff like you know yep you have one just please move don't push me don't hit me calm down like, hey, wait, you're going to get some, but you need to wait. Show some respect, please. And Regina was also like screaming and no, not screaming, but she was like trying to keep it in under control and stuff. And then after a while, it wasn't possible to keep it under control. So um, Regina had to like push people aside and back them up because it went all like out of control. I've never experienced something like that. This is something that I've only seen on television so um it got so out of control that she screamed that i needed to get in the bus so the driver came out so he helped me in the bus and then she stood there so he helped her and it was so difficult it was so difficult and i needed to i i wanted to cry so guys, we're going to uh, witness a voodoo show and it's like a real, real voodoo show and we're going to see some raw material. So uh, I'm nervous. I really am. Yeah. So, bye.
Allemaal, tout le monde. Allez, 